All right, I'm running a little behind. I'm running a little behind, so let me jump in. My next guest is Ms. Taylor Wellman. She is a video marketing expert and founder of Financial Potion. Audience, big round of applause. <laughs> Taylor, thank you for your patience. I went a little over on that, so thank you. Oh, no problem at all. It was a powerful segment, so no, no problem at all. Yeah, it's timely, and I just wanted to wanted her to kind of come full circle with what she was talking about. So video marketing, video, video, video. I'm going to tell you something. I'm going to share this with you, and you're going to be proud of me. When I was at the event in Tulsa, I met Jeff Brain, the CEO of Clout Hub. And Clout Hub's a social media platform, but they have channels, right? And on these channels, the people that are mm -hmm. on these channels, they all have video programs. And I said to him, I would like a channel. He said, I will give you a channel. And as I said that, I um, thought of you because it, I'm being now forced to implement video. So you are getting your wish, my dear, that I'm going to be doing video because in order for me to have a channel, I have to have video content. So Excellent. video is it. the way to communicate. You, you have to do it. You know, you're doing fabulous with the podcast. The video is just the next step that just makes sense. And, and really, it makes sense for everyone. You know, think about what we enjoy doing. We enjoy really connecting with people. And that's how you do it is through video. You get to know the person's personality, uh, you know, their mannerisms, even just how they speak. You really get an idea on if you really want to work with someone when you see them on video. And also the algorithms within the social media uh, platforms prefer and they favor video, correct? Very much so. They prefer video. And if the platform offers a live stream option, for example, Facebook Live, LinkedIn Live, uh, Instagram Live, you're actually going to get a higher boost in the algorithm when you do a live video. Um, but it, so if you're still too afraid to do something live, although I know you're totally not, so you should totally be doing a live show. But, uh, you know, if you don't want to do it live, at least post a video. You can then do as many takes as you need to, edit it up, look, make it look all pretty, and then post that because you're still going to get a lot more views, a lot more engagement if you are to do a live video or post a video than to post a picture or, or just a phrase. If you're just posting a phrase, don't even waste your time. <laughs> If, before you kind of go into what you want to talk about today, um, can you just give some advice? And I think it's one of the most important things with the video. It, just comment or give some tips about lighting and important of how important that is because overall you look better on camera than you do in person or in a mirror. So take that into consideration, everybody. But can you comment on lighting really quick? Yes, lighting is so important, and, you know, the more that we've been in this uh, Zoom world, uh, the less people are really thinking, I think, about how they actually look. Um, you know, it's amazing <laughs> how many videos I just see with us looking up people's noses and uh, windows in the background, so you're just completely blacked out, and you can't even, you know, detect where your nose is from your mouth. And so, when you're setting up your lighting, always make sure that the light is going towards your face. So if you're looking at your room and you know you have this big, beautiful window that you think has a beautiful background, do not make that your background <laughs> because it's going to uh, change the exposure and make it so you are, you know, unseen. And so you want to make sure that the light's going onto your face and still add some light to the scene. Some people will go, oh, well, my office has lights, you know, uh, it should be fine. But it's all downward lighting, and we don't want to have awkward shadows under our noses or under our chins. And so make sure you're adding some light to your face. Um, make sure that the majority of the light is going in front of you to illuminate yourself, not behind you. Um, and then if you have glasses, I am a glasses wearer, uh, you know, you want to just make sure that you're kind of putting the light in a position where it's not going to cause a lot of glare. That is a little distracting. And so if you're able to use contacts or not have your glasses on, you'll probably save some setup time. Um, but if you do have glasses, figure out where it works to have your lights and then just leave them there. Set up a studio space in your home or office. And then you're doing your live uh, videos that are on Fridays at 5 p.m. Pacific time with all kinds of tips and information and, and even uh, recommendations for all kinds of equipment, right? 
Yes, every Friday at 5 p.m. Arizona time, we post a video on our YouTube channel. We then share it onto our social media as well. But it is a tip um, from anything between what makes a search engine optimized YouTube channel to what uh, inexpensive microphone should you purchase to how do you even post a video on Facebook. So really what I do is when I get a question from a client, I will copy that question and put it onto a script document. And then when it's time to do a video, I just look at that script document, see a question that's been asked, and then answer that question in a video. Because if one client has asked that question, more than likely other people are asking that question as well. I know we're jumping around about different tips for video marketing, and that's because I know you can handle it. And when you come on these segments, you're full of info. Boom, boom, boom. So what else do you want to give as far as tips and tricks and takeaways today? Well, I actually have a confession. Uh, I have something I'm, I'm announcing. We actually set up a, a TikTok account, a, a account mm -hmm. I never thought I'd ever want to do. I never thought I was going to do TikTok. I was, like, super anti-TikTok. When I learned about TikTok two years ago, I was like, this is dumb. <laughs> I'm not going to do it. But <laughs> That's what we I said, too. <laughs> we're going to... Right? Um, but we ended up setting it up and just learning more about it. And it's quite amazing to see how many brands are already on TikTok and the stats. I am just shocked on how much engagement, how much viewage you're getting, how many views you're getting on TikTok. Uh, you know, we literally just created our, our page, posted one video on there. So no one's following us, nothing. Uh, you know, we are literally following like five clients of ours that are on there, and yet we already have 250 views from a video I posted last Thursday. That's unbelievable. And you're the and second we have person. no one following us. Yeah, you're the second yeah. person I've talked to in the past two days that said you have to get on TikTok because of the amount of volume and people that are on it. She posted, she posted the video three times, she started doing it three times a day. And one of them mm -hmm. hit like a million views. It, it, yeah. it was just, so it's unbelievable. They can't even, it doesn't, none of it really makes sense, but it doesn't really matter. So just go do it. <laughs> That's kind of where I'm at. You know, I'm at that point where I'm like, you know what? I got to start testing it for my clients. Cause I have clients who have a demographic of the high schoolers. And one of my clients in particular has a demographic of high schoolers and has quickly found that kicked is their number one platform that they're getting engagement on. And, you know, it's one of those things that we've always known in marketing. You've got to go where your target audience is. And so if your target audience really is that, you know, 24 and below age group, TikTok appears to be a really great site. It's easy to use. It's borderline fun. Um, <laughs> I say borderline fun just because you can get really into the editing and spend quite a few hours on it. But it, it's interesting. And, um, you know, it, it's just a different medium. It's still using video, but in a slightly different way um, and a little more fun with perhaps using some music. And so you can really add a little more personality to it. And another interesting stat that I have found out is that within the last year, 75% uh, of um, people within the age range of 13 to 18 who had a TikTok account convinced their parents to purchase something that they had seen on TikTok. 60%. Oh, wow. And so that means wow. that, yes, that these teenagers are on there. They're being immersed. They're still watching branded content, but in a different way where they're building that trust with that brand and then telling their parents, I need this product. And then it engages the parent and then they end up setting up an account or they start viewing it themselves because what I was told, too, is that the, the an older audience has come in now because they're seeing yeah. the value, especially, like you said, the brands are – popping in there because there's just so much activity. TikTok, okay. And just else like to Instagram, do. you know, parents start going on there because they want to know what their kids are watching. You know, so right. you're going to start seeing that the demographics are going to get older and wider, uh, just like what we saw with Facebook and with Instagram. You know, a lot of these platforms start off as a, a young person's platform, a teenage platform, but then parents, you know, want to see what's going on, or maybe there's just interesting content on there. And so we'll start seeing that the platform gets older, and that's where, you know, you really want to consider adding it to your marketing plan if you are someone who does have that younger target demographic. Huh. Who knew, right? Who knew? I just got to gotta go where the trends are. You got to go where the people are. So, Taylor, give your website and plug mm -hmm. anything you want real quick. 
Yes, my website is financialpotion.com. Please take a look at our site. You'll see some video examples, and you can schedule a complimentary strategy session. We do offer a half-hour strategy session where we'll talk about you, your business, your goals, and how video marketing can help you reach those goals faster. And then, of course, just as you already heard, we do have our YouTube channel, youtube.com forward slash financialpotion, where every Friday, 5 p.m. Arizona time, you'll get more information, more tips in order to help you do video marketing on your own. Awesome. Awesome. Great information, Taylor, as usual. Thank you so much for being such a valued partner, and we'll talk to you next month. Excellent. Thank you, Michelle. I appreciate you. Thank you. Thank you.